Hi, I'm James Schilling Law aboard the brand new World Navigator from Atlas Ocean Voyages. And we're here on a kind of a test cruise, preview cruise, owner's cruise, whatever you like it, uh, from all the way from Porto to Athens. And it's going to go into revenue service right afterwards. And we're all curious about what's this ship really like. So we're here with Luis Santos, who's the hotel manager for uh, World Navigator. And we're going to talk to him about the accommodations, how everything operates on the hotel side, and all of the things that you really want to know about for your client's comfort when they're aboard World Navigator. And you're going to find out about all that and more on Insider Travel Report. First of all, Luis, uh, we're almost, almost the cruise is almost over. It's hard to believe, right? That's right, yes. Yeah. Tomorrow we reach uh, Athens, Greece, and it's the end of our cruise. So there's a 10 days cruise all the way from Porto in Portugal to Athens through the Med, and uh, yes, we finish a successful cruise tomorrow. Yeah, and this was the first one. You're testing some things out, but I got to tell you, the service on board has been outstanding. Um, it really, for a first cruise like this, and uh, you know, it's obviously you have the owner on board, so that's important. But uh, but you guys have done a good, great job. Now, let, first, tell us a little bit about the accommodations on board. Uh, what are kind of the range of staterooms and suites, the different categories you have? Okay, we have we have all in all 100 staterooms, mm -hmm. uh, 10 of which are uh, high category uh, suites. Mm -hmm. You know, with approximately 35 square meters per, per room, very spacious, all with balcony. And then we have the rest with the balcony, one, one small area of, of cabins which we use for our expedition teams, which are not on sale by Atlas, but we, we have mm -hmm. 12 cabins down on deck three, which are beautiful, decorated as well, but at this time not on sale. But yeah. All in all, 100 cabins with 10 beautiful suites. And you have some of the suites with, I instead of balconies, they have a window that kind of comes down. That's kind of interesting. That's right. Is is uh, I think is the only ones in the market at this time is, is an elevated uh, uh, window, which you know, uh, remotely works uh, up and down. So you are in your cabin and you are basically having a balcony. Okay. You just sit by the window and the window goes up and down and there's like a, a fresh, air, fresh, air, fresh air inside. Right? That's right. It's a inside balcony, say it that way. Yeah, and also the other thing, the rooms are so well appointed, so elegantly decorated and they really have everything. Talk a little bit about what's in those rooms for comfort. Okay, we have the rooms are all decorated by a, a very specialized uh, team uh, of the uh, architecture team and uh, we have beautiful uh, sofas, uh, furniture, uh, all made in Portugal, uh, which is very well known for its uh, uh, its furniture, uh, building furniture north of the country. Right. And uh, we have uh, beautiful uh, uh, TVs, uh, flat screens with a smart TV, with all kinds of features in. We have uh, uh, hair dryers, we have a mini bar, we have uh, a pillow menu, which you can choose up to five pillows from it. So from so you're, you're, you get you get four originally, and then you can swap them all out, right? That's right. Yeah, from uh, you know memory foam to to feathers, so you can choose off. You know the rooms are uh, very well equipped. It's really top of the range, and the our linen is also top category linen. Mm -hmm really high quality the mattresses you'll see the beds are uh, very well uh, very comfortable i mean it's it's really a cruise line that gives you the maximum comfort in your state rooms no, absolutely and i felt that as well uh, i've slept very well on board i've felt that the quality of the sheets the pillows and everything else and just hanging out in the stateroom over though there's sunny other places like here we're in the atlas lounge is a lovely place to to hang out as well now how many total crew do you have on board and and kind of what are the nationalities of all the service staff and everything we have 117 crew members mm -hmm. From multinationalities, we are represented by uh, Asia, by uh, America, by uh, Europe. We have crew members from all over. The, at this moment, 18 different nationalities. Okay, oh, wow. the officers mostly are Europeans, mm -hmm. but uh, the crew comes from all over the world. And uh, yeah, I know a lot of people from Philipp Philippines and Indonesia. I noticed that. Philippines and I Indonesia, Europe. We have we have all kinds. We are multicultural, and we we really have uh, excellent crew members. We we 
train them with our management on board to deliver the best services and I think we did a fantastic job this inaugural cruise with the crew that we we've been training since since June that we start uh, uh, setting up these cruises. So. Yeah, well, since June last year, you had during the pandemic, and I was going to say, it's amazing how the service levels are already really top-notch uh, in the first cruise, essentially, right? Yes, that, that is the, the reflect of, of excellent teamwork and uh, uh, excellent uh, training uh, management that we have on board. Mm -hmm. There's a continuation of, of the management training to the crew you know, giving them all the tools for them to deliver outstanding services for our guests. No, it, it's been amazing. The service in the in the staterooms, service in uh, in the restaurants has been excellent. Service all over the ship, and I'm very impressed f for such a new crew. Uh, let's talk a little bit about you know, obviously the issue of the moment is COVID, and how you protect uh, uh, you know your your guests and and adhere to certain COVID protocols. What what sort of cleaning regimes and other things you have you had to do? Uh, to sort of make everybody safe. Yeah, we have we have a very detailed uh, COVID protocol response plan, and we continuously training our crew on that plan. We we uh, sanitize the state rooms uh, prior to any guest coming in there. We have we have a gap in which you know the crew is not allowed to go in when a guest goes out, and then once that uh, that time gap is is achieved we we go in we disinfect we clean the rooms and we tag all the rooms that have been disinfected so when guests comes there uh, we'll feel that the the comfort the 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 covid the protocols have been all followed and they, i can assure you that the each each part of the ship each lounge each state room is fully disinfected prior to anyone coming in we have a number of hours uh, between uh, guests going out, guests coming in, we allow that number of hours for, for us to have a full disinfection of the entire ship prior to any guest coming in. So we, we follow that protocols, we have a crew very well trained to follow them, and of course the management is checking on all that details to make sure that we have a safe and healthy ship. Well, you have a, okay, uh, on this deck, deck four, there's actually a very large medical center. You have a doctor, you have a nurse, and uh, they administer a lot of the tests, uh, COVID tests. And I assume that the whole t the crew has gotten tested, and I think most of, most of them are vaccinated as well by now? Or? That's right. All our crew is vaccinated in total, 100%, and we do uh, the COVID test once a week as well. Mm -hmm. Every crew member is uh, submitted to, to, to the test once a week. Uh, during the entire uh, cruise, we the cruises are two weeks. We go through two tests, mm -hmm. and also at this time we 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 have uh, limitations of going ashore to avoid any any possible contaminations. We are really prepared for it and and have uh, all the protocols in place. Now the other thing is uh, we're, we talked about uh, you have plenty of hand sanitizers all over the ship. They're kind of built in uh, at this point, right? That's right. We have a. a top of the line hand sanitizers all over the vessel. Yeah. You can see at every corner there is one uh, in order for the people to be comfortable to sanitize their hands as often as possible and, and that includes in the crew areas. And then of course the other thing is we're not wearing masks now because we, d we went with the interviews without masks but the entire crew wears masks. Now guests sometimes uh, maybe not so much. I've been trying to wear my mask but it's hard because you're in this wonderful environment and you feel very safe so a lot of times you just sort of walk out with your, your mask but I've noticed the crew always wears masks. That's right. Uh, crew uh, is uh, instructed and it is mandatory to wear masks at all the times as well as our guests and our crew is trained to to ask our guests if they are noticed without masks to wear them right. and we have a minimum number of masks that must be on board mm -hmm. and of course when when standing it is mandatory to wear a mask when the guests are sitting down uh, it, it, is, it is uh, you know kind of normal they're having a drink they're having a coffee they're having a, a, a snack uh, but when standing we ask everyone to wear a mask and then, of course, there are plenty of masks on board. You have a lot of masks you can give to them, right? <laughs> That's plenty of masks, yes. We have 
you know, COVID protocol, a minimum number of masks to carry on board, and we always doubling that amount. So now I've noticed that uh, this this particular cruise, there is a buffet, and it, it it's sort of open there. But what's going to be the future? Is there going to be a buffet, uh, open buffet, or is it going to be a served buffet? How's that going to work? No. This cruise inaugural cruise is a particular cruise. Yeah, it's, it's okay. for the owners. It's all his friends and his investors, right? That's right. Everyone is vaccinated. Everyone uh, came on board with the PCR negative. And the owner has asked to, to be a little bit flexible on that respect. Going forward, uh, future cruises with guests, there, there will be no buffets in, in, a, in a structure. There will be no buffets in a restaurant. We serve everybody a la carte. That sounds great. Uh, although, boy, I miss those buffets, i got to tell you. <laughs> they were some really good ones, and we were up there, and it was fantastic. And then I, I don't know if the policy is, do, do guests have to be vaxxed uh, uh, or not? We, we request every guest to come on board with a PCR test or vaccinated. Okay. At this time, it is not mandatory, but we, we make sure that every guest entering the vessel has a, a, a PCR test. And during the cruise, we also prov provide them with uh, antigen tests. Right. And then we have to, of course, have antigen tests when we have to go back to the States, which is important. Absolutely. That's right. Everyone before leaving will be uh, submitted to a test. So That's great. We are, uh, it's amazing how we spend so much time in this COVID stuff now, which is important. But uh, by, uh, who, who ever thought we'd spend half the interview talking about COVID protection because people are concerned. Right? Yes, I think it's part of our lives now. And, and we, we go out of our way to make sure that our guests are traveling with us. They come and they go out uh, uh, you know, with the consciences that, that we really did our best right. for them to, to come and to go home healthy. Absolutely. Well, that's all important. Now, is there anything else you want to tell our travel advisors, our travel agents out there who are speaking to their clients about the hotel operation on board uh, World Navigator? We uh, at Atlas Ocean Voyages, we, we have a, a fantastic product can be sure that any guest coming here will have fantastic product, beautiful food. The services are outstanding. Yeah, we were talking to your and chef earlier, so he's got plenty of things going on with the cuisine. Right? That's right. We, we have continuous training. Our short side team, uh, together with us here on board, we, we go out of our way and we leave no unturned stone to make sure that the product delivered is outstanding. Well, Luis, I want to thank you for taking the time. I know you're busy because you're, you, you're racing around the ship. It's a small ship, but there's a lot to do no matter what. And it's been fantastic. You've obviously done your job great this, the, the, this past week. And it's been an amazing cruise for me uh, uh, to be on a first cruise like this. Uh, you know, that's not even really a press cruise or a revenue cruise. It's just been a wonderful experience. And you guys have made a, a out, you've done an outstanding job. Uh, thank you. We, as I mentioned earlier, we try our best and, and uh, go out of our way to provide that excellent and outstanding services. It is a small vessel. It is how it's supposed to be. It's, it's a, let's say, a mega yacht mm -hmm. with expedition uh, capacity. We go for Antarctica. We have uh, beautiful water sports on board for whoever likes water sports. Come on board and enjoy. I mean, it's a fantastic vessel. You know, maximum 200 passengers with outstanding services and, and the facilities, as you see, are outstanding. So I, you know, looking forward to welcome all our guests. Well, Luis, again, thank you so much. And uh, get your clients on board, World Navigator, Atlas Ocean Voyages. They're going all over the world. They're going to end up in Antarctica at the end of this uh, this year, down in that season. And, and literally, they're, and now they're heading off to uh, uh, Greece and Egypt cruises. And I'm sure it's going to be an outstanding uh, set of uh, voyages. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.